Right, this is Knuckle Up TV. I'm with Brian Lawrence. How are we doing? Yeah, I'm doing fine. How are you? Not too bad, Brian. Yeah. How's yeah. life shooting you? Yeah, it's okay. Yeah? Yeah, it's okay. Alright. Um, what are we going to talk about? Let's talk about the goings on in today's boxing. Mm. What fight right now captivates you that you're going to watch next? What's your next big fight you're going to want to see next? Um, to me, I'd like to see. Um, Collocked him against um, Alvarez. Yeah. No, Canelo. Canelo Alvarez. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Okay. When? What? Do you think that will happen this year? Well, it's been ordered. What I've heard. So um, hopefully. I mean, that that's the next super fight. It is a super fight, but yeah. I, I can actually see that being pretty much a, a one-sided fight, in my opinion. I can see Golovkin shutting shutting the fight down. I think he could beat Alvarez pretty easy to lose the draw. Yeah. Should have me a card and it, it summed mm. it up, didn't it, really? Yeah, yeah. No, but I mean, um, yeah, I'll fancy Golovkin to win. But I think it'll be, um, it won't be that easy. Nah, no, I mean, uh, Mexico's so? got, nah, no, I don't think it'll be that easy. I think, uh, I, I think it'll go at least about 10 rounds. 10 rounds. Yeah. I don't know, I, the way the performance the other, the other weekend, when the Amir Khan stuck it on him for, for the first, actually winning every every round pretty much up towards the, the knockout, mm. he, he made it look very easy. If he was to get Yeah, him, but I don't know, but you know, Khan, nah, Khan was just hitting him with feather dusters. It, it was feather dusters, but yeah, it, was but getting, it was getting the... <laughs> The decision, you know, he was getting the, the, the eye of the judge, wasn't it? The judges. But it was only a matter of time. So he got caught up? Yeah, it was only a matter of time. You know, you, you know, in boxing you can run, but you can't hide. And you cannot hold off like, somebody like that with feather dusters. You've got to hit them and hurt them. You know, so his, his movement, his tactics, they were all right, but he just don't punch hard enough. Especially at that weight to hold somebody off like mm, that, mm, mm, you know. Mm, so, mm. to me, the fight itself was suicidal. You know, he's not a puncher at his own weight, so you're gonna go up two weights. And face. Why do you think he decided mm. to do that? Why do you think he decided to go up to that in two weights? I think the money. Okay, the money. But yeah. wasn't there money on the table with Kel Brook? Because obviously they're offering Kel Brook, right? So yeah. Well, I'm not, yeah, but I don't know what kind of money so was on, on with Kell Brook. That would have been a good fight, but now, I think it's a, uh, I don't know, I don't know if the public really would go for it now how they would have before. Because before it would have definitely been pay-per-view. Mm -hmm. But now, uh, I'm not so sure. So where does Amir Khan go right now? Where does he, where does he, where, where's his next point of call? Would you suggest him hanging up the gloves? Would you suggest him dropping down in weight? Would you suggest him staying at middleweight but fighting someone else? Nah, nah, he ain't no middleweight. Nah. I'll, say, I'll go, I'll say? I'll say light middle. So light middle. I'll get maybe a couple of wins under his belt, then fight Liam Smith. That's that, a good fight. Yeah, that'll be a good that fight. That is a good for fight. Him, yeah. Ah. I bet Leon Smith to beat him, mind you. Yeah, but that'd be, it'd a, good be a good fight. fight yeah, and it'd be a, I think then it would be a, a good money yeah, fight. Yeah, yeah, that's a very good fight actually. Mm. But would it sell though? Is it enough in it for Amir Khan? Because the risk is quite high against Liam Smith. And Liam Smith can't no. beat him. Amir Khan, he, he only good as your last fight. Oh, I know, but he just got knocked out. But he got well paid for that, didn't he? Yeah, but you know you cannot get knocked out like that and then be calling the shots. You know, you just, you the, know. Is the hunger still there though? The desire for him to really want to be taking a risk again with someone like Liam Smith? Because that's not a, an easy fight, is it? Well, there's no fights easy easier at that it. level. No, no, of course. But so, it's our way. Yeah, well, yeah. If he's going to fight yeah. on, fight, that, 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 you know, that's the only very, route. Very you know, Definitely. that's the only route really to mm. go, what I can see for him. Mm. You know. But, but, um, you remember, it was, it's been a year since the, the Algeria fight, wasn't it? So it was a year, mm. just over a year, since he boxed Algeria, right? Mm. Till he boxed Alvarez. Mm. Is he going to have another year out, do you think? Yeah, he might need a year to recover. So a year to recover. That was a bad knockout. Bad yeah, knockout, yeah, right? Yeah. And then another six, eight months to get prepared for another fight. So we're looking at another 18 months. So a lot can change in the 18 months. Yeah, it can, it can, you know. Um, it was a very, very bad knockout. Yeah, it was. I mean, he's been knocked out Conscious. like that now about three times. And he's, I mean, you can get stopped in a fight, but he's been knocked out yeah. 
you know, really bad, and um, true. you don't know what effect that will have on him anyway. Yeah, yeah. You know, mentally, mm. he might be more fragile now. Mm. Mm. That's true. That is true. So, really, I mean, he's made enough money, mm. so... I think he's... Yeah. So maybe it's time to think about his health as well. I think so. He can retire right now. Yeah. He'd be very yeah. comfortable, mm. very, very comfortable, very wealthy, mm. and have, have his faculties in, intact. Yeah. And, have, you know, he's still got his legacy. He can still go down as... Legacy? As a, as a, yeah. Yeah, he's, 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 he's been a, a, he's a challenge a lot of the top fighters, isn't he? Yeah, but time. you know, but when yeah. you talk about legacy, you got to, you got to dominate something. Yeah. you know, when yeah. you talk about legacy, you dominate yeah. something. Yeah, you know, this legacy word used was against, a bit. He was too amongst easy. the best, wasn't he, of, all, of of his generation? He boxed a lot of the top fighters. He, Danny Garcia, mm -hmm. he, he got beat. Peterson, wasn't he? Yeah, got yeah. beat. Um, he boxed. Uh, is that Judah passed his sell by date? Yeah. Um, Colonzo. Yeah, but, but with Khan, I don't call. Yeah. I don't want call it no legacy. I yeah. mean, you could say someone like Ricky Hatton. Yeah, he had a legacy. Yeah. Carl Froch, because they remain unbeaten for a period of time. Yeah, but Khan's like, he, mm. you know, he he he'll lose and he'll win quite a few. Then he'll lose, and it's like that, lose and win. It's nothing. He never dominated a, a stage. Mm. You know, he never dominated the welterweights, he never really dominated the light welters and he's gone up to middle, didn't work out. So, you know, he's been a good fighter, but I wouldn't say a legacy. No. No. Okay. He, was, he was head and shoulders, obviously, he was on the world scene for pretty much mm. all of his career, wasn't it, really, would you say? He, he boxed pretty much everybody, didn't he, that was around, other than... Kell Brook. Kell Brook. Yeah, but the fight... Yeah, the fight yeah. he should have fought, I think, was Kell Brooks. Okay. Because Kell Brook, if he had beat Kell yes. Brooks, then we could start talking about legacy. Would he have beaten Kell Brook, in no. your opinion? You don't think? No. No, I think the same thing. I mean, Brooks would have caught up with him. Brooks, Kell Brooks is a good boxer and can punch. What, what do you think is going on with Kell Brook then, right now? What, why is it difficult to match him? Why is it difficult for people to want to fight him? Is well, it? I don't think it. Uh, well, with, uh, I'm not sure. He's had a little. He's had a few niggle injuries and things like that. Yeah. You know, so that that could be um, mm. more with him more than anything because the fights are out there for him. Mm. Mm. You know, he's got. You know, so the big fights, the defining fights. He has. He hasn't had one yet. Mm. But I suppose you know this year, most likely we'll get one of them. Well, Mayweather's off the chart. Off the mm. Amir Khan's off the radar. Mm. Tim Bradley's been beat. Pacquiao's retired. Yeah. So where's he got to go? There's Furman, isn't it? There's, a, there's not enough in it, though. There's not much money in that fight, is there? Well, it could be. They bring him over. Yeah, it's a big fight. They bring him over here. Yeah, they bring him over, will they? Yeah. Never say never. Danny Garcia. Danny Garcia. That's a big Keith fight. Furman, yeah. That's a, yeah. I think Broner's a big fight. I honestly yeah. think Brona is a big fight. Yeah, I think I, I think, think Brona. That would be yeah, that would be a good That's fight. That's a good actually. fight. Yeah, and that would sell big numbers. All right, we better find up Eddie and tell him. <laughs> <laughs> Eddie, Eddie, no, Eddie, Eddie's been saying recently that mm. Broner doesn't want that fight. He mm. feels that there's not enough. He does, there's not enough money in that fight. He, there's not. It doesn't worthy. Obviously, I know he could get beat. I mean, he can be beaten. Yeah, well, that 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 could easily be a pay per view Definitely, fight. Definitely, a hundred percent. Yeah. Sean Porter again rematch. No. Ah, he, no. he could. I, I was going to see Broner, really. Broner, innit? Yeah. yeah. I'll pay money to watch, watch him fight Broner. Broner. Yeah. S Definitely. A sad situation he's in at the moment, isn't it, Kelbert? He's in a sort of situation where everyone's sort of disappearing around him. Mm -hmm. But, he, but yeah. I don't think he's sad because he's a champ. He is a champ. Yeah, he is. <laughs> you know, you know, but it's not sad when you're the champ. I know, I know, but mm. if you ain't got no one to sort of, like, rub up against and fight, mm. You're sort of a champion with no. You're not, you're like, he's on an island with no one around him. Mm, no, but there's, there's a lot of fighters still yeah. there. Yeah. Ah, yeah. what's his name? The um, the one who just won recently. Is that's a big fight? Um, not, what's his name? Not El Spence. El Spence. Yeah, yeah, that's a dangerous yes. fight. Yeah, that's yeah, a but, dangerous but, fight. yeah, but you know, but. Who's smiling with you? 
yeah, you yeah. smiled when you said that, yeah, didn't it, you? Yeah. Errol Spence is yeah. a good fight. Yeah, no, but... Oh, dangerous. Yeah, but dangerous. That, that's another pay-per-view fight. Dangerous. Yeah. So there were a lot of money involved in that fight. Yeah. There isn't... So there's, there's, there's fights There's fights there for Kel Brooks, yeah. definitely. Yeah. You know, and like he's the champion, so he'd be calling the shots. That's it. Yeah. Yeah. All right then, Brian. Well, on that note, it was lovely seeing you. Yeah. And catching up with you. We'll catch up with each other soon. All right. Yeah. All right then. Brian Lawrence, Knuckle Up TV.